Look at that. Oh my god. Everybody. So welcome to part two of the Grey Land Cruiser. Uh, she made it home and unfortunately couldn't drive her off the trailer. We had to roll her, as you might have seen in the last video. But we're gonna go ahead and get started on this thing. Uh, we're gonna write a list of everything that we need to do on it to get her kind of back on the road, hopefully get her started today, um, clean her up, and you know, kind of take an overall look at her as a whole. Um, if you like these type of videos, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe and also like the video and possibly share it as well. So, see you in the video, and I appreciate all support so far. So actually, the gentleman that helped me uh, find this truck, that sent me the link originally for it, he just came by in his FJ62. He's actually gonna go ahead and buy this roof rack from me. Um, we, we came to a deal on it. Uh, it's not something really I need for one of my trucks. Um, so he's gonna buy that. He's gonna give me his small one that's on his truck currently as a trade. What'd you do? So it's really cool. I really like these um, rear uh, light guards. They're probably gonna go on the blue truck. Uh, we'll see, I wanna see about how they look. Just take them off here soon. Um, we do have some rust here and it's coming up here. This uh, The gentleman that I bought it from took it to the beach all the time. He loved fishing. So unfortunately that is not what I like to see because the rust, even though this is a Texas truck, is starting to come through. But all these rockers are clean. We've got cobwebs telling me that it hasn't moved in a long time. So the entire engine bay is super clean. Nothing's leaking. Look at this power steering pump. It's just, it's perfect. Looks like the belts are pretty good. He said he replaced the uh, motor mount because if you know that when your fan shroud starts hitting your fan, um, that means that this motor mount here on the driver's side is usually bad. So he did that one. It did come with the passenger side, but it's a little harder. Um, everything is fully desmogged on this truck, which is really cool to see. Um, unlike my truck, I still run in the hack um, on my truck, um, but it's super clean engine bay. I do like this. He went ahead and did the LED uh, headlight upgrade which I do like the uh, classic nature of the old school lights, but these do look pretty good. And he has them hooked up to the point that um, they do have a headlight switch where you can go to high beams and low beams. I love these door panels. This pattern is awesome. I might rip all this stuff out and put it in the blue truck. Um, I'm not sure just yet. Huge selling point for me here. Look at this. Look how new this seat looks. It's just, Unbelievable, you never see that in these trucks anymore. Um, he did go ahead and do a full leather wrap that he did himself on the steering wheel, which is super cool, it's super comfortable to your hand. Um, again, I haven't really driven it down the road yet, so we'll see about that. Got the Tuffy box, he did leather on that as well. You know how that locks, opens up and stuff. Uh, he's left a lot of junk in there, as you can see around. So I'm really excited about this one. This is the special Toyota factory uh, fog light switch from what I understand. I've had a lot of people ask me about that. Um, I've never actually seen one in person. So that is super cool to see. Probably gonna be taking that off and putting it in my truck in some way, but I think it's super cool. Glove box. Yeah, that piece is broken there. I think I have one of those in the parts garage. Uh, came with all the manuals and stuff and you know, Chipotle napkins just in case you need those. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, have all the manuals there. He also said that he put this uh, this grab bar on. That's from an FJ62. Uh, I believe it's a brown one, so it doesn't really super match it, but it's cool that it's there. It's different. Um, even these old school lights work. Um, they don't have LEDs. They're very dim when you get in the truck, but hey, they work. That's starting to crack. If any of you guys know, that goes really quickly for some reason. Not sure why, but that's still in good shape. We'll take it. The rear view mirror is awesome. I mean, look how nice and special that is. It doesn't look like it's been sun faded or behind here. It usually kind of gets 
all beat up. Looks really clean. Looks like the edges are clean as well. You saw in part one, you saw that the tailgate is absolutely perfect. Um, it's starting to rust here a little bit, which is gonna have to be addressed. Um, I'm probably gonna POR 15 the frame, so probably put a little POR 15 on that section too, just to kind of stop it, because these tailgates are getting a little expensive and harder to find, and definitely not something you wanna do body work on. Again, coming over here, starting to have some bubbling here on the body, which anybody knows, that's kind of where it starts. Um, you can see under here, goes right through. That's just another, you know, I feel like going to the beach problem where it just gets stuck back there. So look back here in this crossbar that is the shock tower mount bar. You can see that stuff comes out of here. Look at that. That is a huge sign it's rusting from the inside out. Hello, I'm Dr. Abdul Abdullah Abdul Rahman. I graduated from Harvard University and have over 30 years of experience for diagnosing disease. If you want to know one thing, this right here is cancer. You don't want to see that. You definitely want to get that cleaned out as soon as possible because that will kill your truck and that will kill your frame. I only love this kind of logo on the side. I have no idea where that came from, but I think it's sweet. Just kind of uh, goes back to that original nature of the truck, uh, the original pinstriping that these trucks used to come from. Love it. So one thing over here that I was not happy to see so usually dirt collects back here. If you can see that, that is sand. If you put your finger down in here, there is just, it feels like you're in a beach under there. I mean, that is not good. That stuff needs to come out of there. So I will be taking out the entire interior and then vacuuming everything under the carpet because that will definitely kill the rest of the body. If any of you guys know, this whole dog leg usually rests out, probably because stuff sits there for years and years and years. Okay. Let's talk about the frame because unfortunately with this guy going to the beach, the frame had suffered a lot. When I first looked at this truck, I was hoping it was it would look good, but I think I was just more excited about how beautiful the body looked. Get under here. Everybody knows that this is a killer of all these trucks. I mean, look at this. It's starting to fold back. You can see up here, the frame is starting to bend down. You can see pieces of it coming down. Back here, same thing. Frame is just starting to fold and come apart on that C-channel. It's great to see that this kind of a bottom part of the frame is still solid, but if it's not addressed soon, it's gonna fall apart. The rest of the frame throughout the truck looks awesome, but that back section is just terrible. So we will be going ahead and POR 15-ing the entire thing. Um, so we're gonna go buy a gallon of that stuff and do all three of my trucks that I have at my place right now. Well, I want to go switch out the battery, and I guess that's when you really know that uh, it's been sitting a while. And the ants and their eggs are running like crazy all over the place. All right, so we just took the battery out of Nora, my blue 60, threw her in here. We're gonna see if we can get her to turn over and see if we can drive her to the backyard. Just gotta get my start in fluid. Like that, she's going. Boom. Look at all that blow by. Oh. Alright, she's moving. She's going back. Oh, she starts, she moves. That's positive. kettle never seen anything like that um, so that unfortunately means that we have to rebuild the motor so I'm gonna be going ahead and taking everything off of it today uh, my buddy Evan at classic motors has said that we can bring the motor there and go through the entire process through his machine shop of fixing the entire motor from beginning to end so that's